I think I'm one of the last people on earth to never go to Costco, but today that is going to change. Hi, my name is Kim and I am on the WW Personal Points Plan and today I'm going to Costco for the very first time and I'm gonna see just what kind of fun things I can find that will help me stay on track on the WW Personal Points Plan. If you are new here, be sure to hit that red subscribe button, turn on those notifications, a little bit, turn on those notifications and hit that like button. just spotted these and these are one of my favorite WW personal points breakfast I wouldn't even call it a treat just a way to add protein three links are 120 calories and you just microwave them so if you need something quick on the go these are a great price just ten dollars whereas you're spending about five dollars per package for yeah a lot less <laughs> So we just detoured to the snack aisle and I totally didn't think I was gonna see anything that interested me. And I have like a whole slew of things. One of my favorite salty snacks, these Harvest Snap Pea Crisps, totally delicious. And then we have organic cauliflower bites and carrot sticks. And the ingredients in this, you would have to count points, but it's organic carrots, sunflower oil and sea salt. Okay, we're gonna do a quick swap because I just found these fully cooked chicken sausages and these are three links for 90 calories and that is less than the Jimmy Dean. So these are a much better like on like calories points and it's 48 ounces versus 38.4. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like this at Sam's Club. Also, I just lost a child, so excuse me. Chicken dip. Buffalo chicken. I'm kind of hangry right now. Mm -hmm. Did you like it, Sai? He just had the cracker. I don't know. You don't know? No. Is it good? Sai, what yeah. you eating? Uh, the same. I don't know. Just spotted this zero sugar barbecue sauce, which is perfect for the WW Personal Points Plan, just 10 calories per two tablespoons. I am picking this up so I can actually Mr. clean my clean. bathroom. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. So we are back from my very first trip to Costco and let me tell you if there was one word to describe that trip, it was overwhelming. So initially it felt just like going to Sam's Club where we have been members for years and it really we just made the switch because Costco is a little closer. We wanted to try something different and Costco just seems kind of, well, cool. And if you've been watching this channel, you know that if there's one word to describe me, cool is not it. But anyway, so I was really excited to see so many great finds. Now we spent just about $100 because I really wanted to be one, mindful of the budget, two, not overbuy just for the sake of buying to show you. And then also we are getting really close to getting our kitchen updated. And so I need to watch the refrigerator freezer space. But what did I get on my very first trip to Costco? So what did I get on my very first trip to Costco? Lettuce! So I was kind of excited about this because these are just so super cute. These are artisan romaine. And there's one, two, three, four, five of them. 
And I have a feeling these will be just a little more tender than your traditional romaine. And then I can just like cut one up for a salad. I do have quite a few soup recipes planned on my menu. And so I think a lunch with a hearty salad and some soup sounds delicious in this Arctic tundra that I live in called Indiana. I did get another bag of power greens. If you're a green smoothie kind of person, you can use it. I'm not. You know, I'm just like, eh. I'd rather eat my greens than drink them. And so this is baby chard, baby spinach, baby kale. I think these both were around the five, six dollar range. So pretty good deal. And also on the vegetable train, we just, this was not necessarily like an amazing deal. And I honestly didn't even realize it was organic until I just lifted it up. But we eat a lot of frozen broccoli in this house. And so we just grabbed one to stock up. Now I commented while we were in the store that I was excited to find these. These are fully cooked chicken sausages, three links for two points, which is a far better like bargain trade for your points than the Jimmy Dean I had initially purchased. So I'm really glad about that. Another thing I was really excited to find was, was this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Seasoning. So this is zero points, it's zero calories, and I first saw it on Lauren Jansen's channel, and I was a little hesitant to buy it because at Kroger, this is the blend, salt, pepper, and garlic. It's like $5. This was $5. Doo -doo. You know, so I was not gonna spend $5 on the buttery one when it's such a small thing, but for $5 for this, I'm excited to like go get some steaks and try it. Now, I also picked up some cumin. I use cumin in a lot of dishes from like Mexican to warm flavorful things. And this was $5-ish as well. And so I'll refill my smaller bottle. But if you want to stay on track on the WW Personal Points Plan, you have to like the way your food tastes. You're gonna get tired of chicken. So flavor is key and I love cumin. And then I had to pick up my ride or die, my favorite quick and easy dinner, a rotisserie chicken. Whenever we went to Sam's Club, we always bought one. So I figured we needed one on our first trip to Costco. And these chickens are $5 as well. And such a bigger chicken, such a bigger bird. That was not articulated well. And I apologize, maybe I don't, I don't know. Anyway, that's such an easy dinner and then you have leftovers for lunch. Sometimes I buy two, one to eat for dinner and then one to eat throughout the week because I don't want to share. We also picked up Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I love these, they're great for cleaning. I know they're abrasive, whatever. Um, but mostly because we forgot them at Target because apparently if you shop at Target with a list, you forget everything on your list and then buy everything that wasn't. And then we found these Smarty Pants vitamins for the kids. Those were a good price. And I think they know my kids because they are too smart for their britches and that gets them in trouble in places like Costco as well. So there were a few finds that I'm looking forward to picking up on my next trip and that was a frozen acai bowl. I love acai bowls. I fell in love with them in Kona and so I can't wait to go back and get one. It's hard to find one here in Northeast Indiana that tastes the way I want it to. I guess nothing tastes like Hawaii. And then they also had the, I think better with veggies, like blueberry muffins and cinnamon muffins. They're not as great on points as you think they should be, but they're a low calorie muffin that if you don't have time to bake on the weekends, is just perfect and much better, a much better choice than going to your local coffee shop. And they had a ton of great snacks, but again, I was feeling very overwhelmed and I was just like, okay, I need to come back here on a Monday afternoon when no one is here without my kids and spend about two hours. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications and hit that like. Just do your girl a favor. And until next time, do something you love.